over here. All right, we are live. Uh, very quickly, um, I decided to do this last minute. I figure I play it through a bit. Hey, Dutch, how you doing? Uh, so you know it's a last minute thing. I figure I take a break from painting, and I did about a week's worth of videos today. And hello, Misfit. So I don't expect a lot of people to watch this. First of all, this is a Dan Verzen game. Um, you always hear me talk about, um, like, oh God, uh, Tiger Leader and such. Now, a couple other things here. Uh, I'm by myself, so I'm playing this um, solo, number one. Uh, number two, if the dogs need to go out, you guys just have to wait. I'm going to have to uh, just take a break because I don't have anybody here with me. So I was going to make this an entire solo sat a Sunday, but uh, <laughs> um, the whole thing was is that basically I just got so busy making videos. Um, uh, we did everything for the week. Um, I've been painting like a fool, so I just need to do this and then take a little bit of a break today. And get ready for tomorrow where we're going to be doing Gloomhaven. Okay, so what's going on here? Okay, uh, this is a game that I've been looking forward to. It is fairly easy. Now, I tried it with, you know, just playing by myself with two players. And it plays out pretty nicely. But um, you get all these decks. Let me see if I got the decks over here. Um, you can get all these decks. This neoprene map is is really nice. This doesn't come with the game, but you do come with a hard bound. Uh, I mean, um, a matted um, uh, board, which is just as nice. It's actually as nice. Um, but uh, I chose to use this because the light doesn't reflect off it as much. Um, but here you could play with these different decks, and they you could be Spain, you could be Portugal. France, of course, England. Um, and um, they come with additional cards which change up and have flavor towards that particular um, nation. But I decided to play uh, against Netherlands, okay? And each inside you have uh, cards that you can play against a person, but you also have um, cards that are they are called AI decks and what happens is this is the um, uh, it, basically it's an AI so I'm playing against the Netherlands so how does this work okay we both have as you can see I have their counters here royal support is how many cards you get per turn per turn is marked in years as you can see over here we're gonna play six rounds until the game's over each round we're going to score up our victory points and uh, that is going whoever has the most victory points at the end now how do you do that well one by how many successful colonies that you have on this board um, and then you get two points per X point monopoly now export monopoly is of course uh, these um, uh, let's say you had all the spices Okay, you controlled all the spices in different regions, then you have a monopoly of that. You can control all of the um, of, of a region. If you control all a region, you'll get two points. And one point per player's colony struggling. Um, and if I cause another colony to struggle, I would get a, a one point for that. So there's a little bit that goes into it. I will explain it more as we get going here. Um, you're going to see that this is just a very simple, very strategic. The cards are very well uh, laid out and, and very nice. And this, this plays very nicely. So we're going to give it a go. We're going to play it solo. We're going to play against. Now, I'm not sure if I have the rules for solo right because um, as great as this manual is in explaining the game, uh, it was a little confusing in the sheet on how to do. I don't know if I mix the start cards in with, but I think I turn over a start card and then whatever royal support cards they have, they play to begin the game. 
So, I'm going to go first. So, as you can see, my royal support is four. So, that means I get four cards. Now, you would keep these from the other player, I would think. But they say you can put them up uh, face up. Now, there's a couple things that you can do here. And it's all spelled out here. Uh, you draw cards equal to your royal support. Discard down to your royal support. So, there are ways that you can have additional cards. Now here I have a bunch of different types of cards and you can see the art is really nice on them. Now up here is a minus two or a plus two and there's certain things that you can do. You can you can play this card to minus your royal support uh, up in the upper left hand corner. Hold on here. Let me just make sure I'm right. because I haven't run into the minuses. Ah, here we go. If I discard if I discard a card, we, we would use this and discard the card for its royal support value. The royal support value is located in the top right-hand corner of each card. If the card has a positive value, move the royal support token that number of squares on the royal support. If it ha if the card has a negative value, move any one opponent's royal support token back. So I can discard that card and cause Bedlam to my opponent. But we're not worried about that right now because it can't go back any farther. Now, you could play these in any order. And uh, a couple things that you could do. You can discard a card to A, build a colony. You can discard a card to reduce one colony. You can discard a card to repair a struggling colony. If you see on this, they have both sides. And you'll see where struggling comes into the whole play here. Uh, and royal favor, you can discard a card to uh, adjust royal favor. But most of the time, you're going to want to pay it, play these for what they say on the bottom. Now, you could struggle up to six adjacent colonies with this card. Well, that's not going to do me any good. Uh, replace up to five struggling colonies that are not yours with successful colonies of your own. Okay, that's not good. In a region where you have a successful colony, remove one or two colonies that are not yours and build colonies to replace them. Well, that's not going to help me. Select a region until your next turn. Colonies in that region cannot be built, reduced, struggled, or removed. Well, to be honest with you, I'm not going to worry about any of that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to discard a card and I'm going to build a colony. And I'm going to start right there. I'm going to discard another card and I'm going to build another colony. I can build it right there. I'm going to discard another card. And I am going to build a, con a colony there. Uh, let's see. And then I'm going to discard a card. And I'm going to adjust my royal support. Okay, so that was my first turn. So what happens? Well, now we add up points for everything that I did for that first round. So I get one point per successful colony. So I got one, two, three. So I have three points. And then two points per region monopoly. Well, I own this entire region. So that is five points. So I'm going to move my little track here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. I'm off to a great start. Well, now it is the AI's turn. Okay, let me just keep up with the thing. Just open up, op uh, opened... Zombicide Green Horde, what a great insert. Very cool. Uh, I just set up my fifth game of Green Horde. Congratulations. Oh, was at Target yesterday and I got Forbidden Island on clearance for $12. That's a good, that's a good buy. Now, according to the way this goes, you're supposed to turn over a star card. Now, they get four cards. So, one, two three, four. So the AI supposedly is supposed to take care of itself here. So the first thing that always happens is that we turn over one of their star cards. 
Hi, Rob. Board looks great. Thank you. And we read, for every colony of yours that is reduced or removed, gain one point. Okay, I haven't done anything like that, so this AI card goes away. So we're just going to put that underneath here. So that had no effect on us. So now we take a look at their cards. Okay. Uh, so they have a card that says remove. I can't believe I just did that. Did I just do that? Okay. Well, I'll just put another one there. It's stuck to my arm and dropped off the score point thing. So, oh, by the way, Greg, how are you? Game line, Dan Palmer. Uh, let's see. Who else do we have in here? Dutch. Gregorius. So that's a good card that we could probably do. Okay. Each opposing player loses points equal to the number of colonies they have on map. So obviously he's going to play that. Well, that stinks. So what happens is I'm going to put that over there and discard over there. Uh, I'm going to lose three points. So four, three, two. So now I'm down to two points. Uh, replace up to five struggling colonies that are not yours with successful colonies of your own. Minimum three. Mm, I have no struggling colony, so he's not going to play that. Each opposing player, oh, he has that again. So I can, he can reduce me down to zero. Very nice. So now I have no points. Now what he can do, though, hmm. He's going to play this card and remove one colony from each of my five regions. So he's just going to play it and he's going to, because this is one region, I'm going to lose that colony. All right. Where'd that stupid star go? That's what I'd like to know. All right, I'm not going to worry about it because I'm, the way this is going, I'm not going to need it. Replace up to five struggling colonies. So... Now, let's just check one thing on this. See, it comes with this. So, there's one thing I just want to check. At the start of an AI nation's turn, the AI suffers the points penalties for having struggling, uh, okay, as normal. Uh, target, da, 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 da. places in turn order during draw step. Draw the AI cards as normal. Do not look at them. Put them face down in a row by the AI. During the start of the round, play cards. Okay. Turn over all of the AI start round cards mm. for the first AI. Bup, 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 bup. Oh boy, this thing's blowing up. Uh, AI draws embargo, a start of the round card. Place embargo card by placing it next to the royal support track and remind others that they cannot adjust the royal support for their turn. Okay. Uh, play any unplayed cards for their royal support value until the AI's royal support is maximum. See, this is where it gets a little confusing. The expansion introduces new kind of cards. Front side. So I'm supposed to mix those in. Okay. All right. We learned something here. So we can do that. So if they have start of the round cards, those are what are played first. Some of these are nasty, too. All right. Well, I mean, hey. They start right off, and then everything else would be played separately. So, all right. This makes sense now. A little bit more. Gonna move this over to the discard pile. We'll give them that extra little boost there. Struggling to do some work. Ah, hi, Static. Gee, Static, where were you up all night with uh, Justin as well? Static is a sponsor on my channel and PG TV. All right, so what he's going to do with this, he is going to discard this. And he is going to move up one on his thing here. All right, so that means we would go. Oh, we're going. We would count up anything on his thing. So he has no points, which is fine. So we go to fifteen fifty. So nobody scored any points so far. Uh, 
AI shuffle the nation's AI deck, the rules below detail how you play. I just want to make sure that I'm getting this right so you guys learn the correct way to do this. You know, the funny thing about it, which targets the AI player, if two or more players can equally be targeted, randomly determine, oh, okay. No, so I'm always going to be terminate. But you could play, you could have four, you could have five uh, AI players at the same time, which is pretty ridiculous. If the AI still has cards in hand, play a card to build a colony if there are no open areas. Play a card to reduce a colony. That's the most points. Oh, okay. I got it. All right, so we wouldn't have done that. Oops. They would have played a colony, and they would have gotten one point. So we're just going to put them here because they like it over there. And they get one point. Cool. All right, that makes sense now. Uh, play any unplayed cards for their mat for. Oh, it goes royal support first. Oh, okay. So, if they're at maximum of royal support, then any unplayed cards for their royal support value until the AI is at maximum, and then you would go build a colony, reduce a colony. Okay, got it. Just wanted to make sure, just so I slept for a little while, LOL. Very cool. Hello, Sandra. How are you? I hope you are well. All right, so that's how the first turn goes. Okay, we got the first turn. This game goes pretty quick, so I may play a couple of games just so we get it. Okay, so my Royal Support is still at four, so I am going to take four cards. One, two, three, and four. All right. Uh, I have a Disease card, which would struggle up to six colonies, but that's not going to help me. For each of your colonies that you struggle, you may struggle one colony belonging to another player. I don't want to do that. Choose one player to lose one point. Uh, don't want to. Oh, well. Equal to the number of colonies they have on the map. They don't have any. Don't want to do that. Replace up. To, okay. So all these cards, the effects that they have will not help me. But what I can do is I can take this, which is overconfident, and it's a plus two, and move my royal support up two. Then I am going to discard a card and add a colony. I'm going to discard another card and add a colony. And finally discard um, another card and add another colony. So now we're going to add that all up. So we have one, two, three, four, five, five plus two because of the monopoly is seven so I'm going to go up to seven finally let's see how that works out now let's just shuffle these cards a little bit better because now it is going to be the Netherlands turn which they really don't have a chance because basically I'm playing whoever okay so now because their royal support is four we are going to bring out four cards and I'm going to bring them over here so we can all see them and I'll turn it this way all right two three we have a start you could tell by the start uh, the start card by there okay there and then there's two of them there okay so we always turn these over first so other people do not gain points for monopolies okay so this goes into play um other play oh so this stays in play i do not get any points for any monopolies awesome then this card comes out decrease every other player's points by their royal support so <laughs> that wasn't very nice well, that stinks so this stays uh, let me just make sure marauders Ugh. Is that out for the rest of the game, or is that uh, Marauders reaction card? Play this card when another player is tallying up their points. 
They're victory points. They do not get... Okay, so on my next turn, I will not get any Monopoly points. So it's a reactionary thing. I should have played that card. Oh, I get how we do this now. One, two. All right, so that's a reactionary card, so I would not get the Monopolies. Got it. I got this now. We'll play another game. Oh. All right, so that's that. Now we're going to turn over this card. Uh, advantageous marriage. Remove three colonies of the player with the most colonies on the map and replace them with successful colonies of your own. So, obviously, he's going to go one, two, and three. So he's going to replace his with his successful colonies. Boy, that wasn't very nice of him. So that was a good card for him. Then here, if all areas, uh, appropriations, if all areas have a colony, remove up to six colonies and replace them with your own minimum of four. So no, the, all, all the areas do not have a colony. So what he's going to do is not use that, and he's going to use this to um, beef up his royal support. Boom. So now we're going to count up the points for him. He has one, two, three. Um, oh, if he had that right there, he would have a spice monopoly, which would be two points. But he has three points, and one, two, three. So it's five to four. We're going to 1995. So what happens here is we take and we just put his cards out face hand. If there is a start of turn cards, oh, actually he has five cards. That would be turned over immediately because it could be a reactionary thing. Your colonies cannot be struggled or reduced. Except, exceptions, plague uh, ship. So this sticks in, in, out for... So I cannot struggle or reduce any of his colonies. Now I get five cards. Four and five. Oh, unless I have plague ship. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me just check the thing. Hi, monster. How are you? Oh no, I'm late. Don't worry, Mark. I'm going to probably play another play another one. I always thought the Dutch thought the Dutch strong explorers. Uh, it just started, no worries. Hello, all. Hope you are having a good day. Yes, we are, very well. And let's keep going here. Oh, wow. Got a thumb down already. You know, that's what I get for goofing up, huh? Whatever. Okay, so. We're just going to keep playing. All right. After another player adjust any player's Royal support, cancel the adjustment, and draw one card. Well, that's not going to do me any good. Oh, I, you can hold on to cards and play these as reactionaries. So, hmm. Okay. Uh, build or reduce a total of three different colonies. I'm going to build three colonies. So I'm going to play this card. It's going to go over here. And I'm going to build three colonies. And I'm going to build a coin here, a coin there. And then what's the other thing I got? Well, I want to block that spice thing. There we go, because I don't want him getting a monopoly of that. All right. Plague ship, which we just talked about. Reduce one colony if the player, if players do not pay a total of five victory points. Ooh. Uh, do not pay a total of five victory points to discard this card. Pass this card to the left and repeat. No reaction. Gain no points. Gain no points for struggling. Ooh. No, I don't think I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that to reduce a colony. Uh, no, I can't reduce this colony. Hmm. I would pass it to the left and give it to him. That's not cool. Select a region. Until your next turn, colonies cannot build in that region. Okay, I'm going to put this right here. I don't want him building in that region. There we go. And I'm going to keep this card. 
And then I'm going to play this card uh, for its royal support. One, two, three. And then I'm going to play this card to build a colony, which I'm going to build a colony right here. Uh, so, actually, I'm going to build it right there. So I have that. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six points plus two because I have a monopoly for gold. Two, uh, six, that's going to give me eight points, which would give me one, two, three, four, five. You leave this here. Six, seven, eight. Okay. So that is my turn. I saved this card. So now it becomes the Duchess' turn. Let's see. Uh, Game got got a game of Field Commander Alexander going on. Looks kind of similar. Kind of. Alexander's a good game. Dutch, English, Spain, Portugal are all strong maritime powers at the time. Portugal, yeah, the Portuguese. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to turn over this card, the first card. Late arrival. Remove exactly one colony from each of the five regions, then build one colony in each of the five regions. Oh, come on, man. So, essentially, I can't, he can't build here. So it's he's going to remove one, two. That's three, because this is just a region. Four, five. Well, that stinks. And then he's going to build in each of the five regions. One, uh, two, which gives him a monopoly. Um, three, four, and five, which gives him another monopoly. Wow, that stinks. All right, boy, this is not going to go well. I'm going to flip this one over. Colonists, remove up to three colonies, then build up to three, uh, up to three, two minimum. Okay, he can't do that because I only have one colony left. Awesome. So he can probably just take this and do something with it. We'll worry about that later. Struggle all colonies that are adjacent to your colonies. I am struggled, so he's going to get an additional point for that. And he's going to play this, replace all spice colonies with your own colonies. Wow, he got some really nice cards there. So how much spice is out there? Does he have that monopolized too? Okay, so he couldn't build here. All right. Um... That wouldn't matter. Okay, so he's going to build two colonies. And he's going to build... Um, got to be fair here. Well, that's not going to matter. He's going to build that there. And he's going to build that there. Because that might just give him a... No, it doesn't give him the wood monopoly. Uh, he can do this, though. And that would give him the jewel monopoly. Oops. Put the wrong thing on there. Wow, this is going to be nasty. Okay, so this card actually goes away. This card Yep, we built the two armies for him. Goody for him. Alright, so let's count up his points. This is not going to be good. Uh, minus one points for each of your struggling colonies. But he gets one point for each of the, my struggling colonies. Awesome. The Hawaiian had them all be, uh, let me see. TVG solitary games are always very challenging. Took me 10 games before I won the first campaign of FC Alexander using all the options. Yeah, I love their games. I was going to do Tire Leaguer today, but uh, I promise I will do that in Sherman Leader in the coming week. Uh, we just got a lot of painting going on. If anybody hasn't seen, I mean, I've been just painting like a fool. 
uh, trying to get ready for Kingdom Death Monster, trying to get ready for Gloomhaven tomorrow. We've got a lot of things going on. Okay, so let's tally this up. And they've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They get one for that, which is 11. A Monopoly here, which is 13. Um, what other Monopoly do they have? They have all the bracelets. That's 13. That's 15. Do they have all the fruit? Yes, they have all over. <laughs> that's 17. 17 points for them. Wow, that hurt. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right. Well, that's dunk. So. It is now, um, we now go into their turn. Okay, so this is disappears. Okay. They cannot be struggled, which was fine. I couldn't do it. So now they get one, seven, two, I think I got this right, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So this is the start of the turn card. And it is other players do not gain points for not monopolies. So we'll put that up here to remind us. Another start of the turn card. Your colonies cannot be struggled or reduced. <laughs> so I cannot play a card to reduce their their colonies. That's just awesome. Oh no, no, I went wrong. That's the way it goes. So I get five cards. One, two, oh, we gotta move this up. Three, four, and then I have this card here. Hmm. Okay. No, I did have it the right way. I read wrong. Oops. They got too many cards. Oops. That's okay. We'll just do that. There we go. All right. Now they have five. Okay. I get seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Three, six, seven. Okay. Cannot struggle their colony, so that's not going to do me any good. Play when you are tallying points. Gain four points instead of two for each Monopoly. That would be nice. Struggle. I can't struggle their colonies. Build or reduce a total of three different colonies. Okay, that one might work. That's not going to work. Uh, perform up to four builds in an adjacent colony. Can't do that. When a player, oh, I did reduce my thing. When a player plays a card, cancel that card. Hmm. All right, boy. Um, so I'm going to discard a card to unstruggle this. Then I'm going to play this card to beef up my raw support to its maximum. Then I'm going to, oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, no, that's okay. Your colonies cannot be struggled or reduced. So I'm going to play this card. Uh, yes. I'm going to play that card. To build a colony here. I'm going to play another card to build a colony over here. I'm going to play another card to build a colony. 
over there. And that's all I'm going to play. I'm going to save this card. I'm going to save these two cards and put them down. There we go. So now I would tally up my points, which are ridiculously low. One, two, three, four. So I have four points, no monopolies. Boy, I should have put that over there. I would have had a monopoly. Ah, it's too late now. Four points. One, two, three, four. All right, now it is the Dutch turn. Let's see. Now there are specific tribes. The old new. Okay, you guys are talking amongst yourself, which is just fine. All right, so we are going to turn over this card, see if it comes into me. Gain one point for each struggling colony. Well, there isn't any struggling colonies right now. So. Oh, I wouldn't get points for monopolies anyways. All right, so that is going to be used on another point. Remove up to three colonies and then build three colonies of your own. Minimum of two, of course. Uh, well, obviously, they would take that one. Obviously, they would take this one. And obviously, they would take that one. Yes, so now they're going to build three colonies. One, two, and three. Boy, this is not good. Uh, build up to four colonies, minimum of three. Um, they can't. So what's going to happen is they're going to, that gets over there, discarded over there this card here all right they have to play these for yeah until their their royal support is maximum but the problem is this is plus two and then that's minus two so it's a wash there we go that's how that goes it's about time they don't catch a break uh but this is going to be ugly and these two go away now that the turns ended and we're going to somehow hopefully hang on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, two, uh, of fifteen, seventeen, <laughs> nineteen. Um, let's see what else they own. Nineteen. That'd be twenty-one. Uh, twenty-three. 25 um wow that's ridiculous 25 do they have all the spice too yeah 25 27 points wow one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. They're going to run out of tokens at this rate. Man, I'm getting mushed. All right, let's see if we can come back here. All right, so that's right, that's right. All right, we got two turns left. Uh, I'll really put some, some things. Maybe they can make the Ancient Aliens an expansion pack. You never know. All right, so he gets five. One, two... Three, four, five. Now, five, these are a bunch of start cards. Uh, your successful colonies cannot be removed. I'm going to play. Hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to play this card. Um, when a player plays a card, cancel that card. So that card is canceled. Like with that. Those cards, they got to be removed. All right, let's hope there's not another one here. Fate. Decrease every, every other player's points by their royal support. So I lose eight points. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Okay. 
So that's taken care of. And then, of course, their final start at the turn card. Other players do not gain points for monopolies. Of course I don't. Of course I don't. That's what I really should have played that as. All right, so I need eight, uh, seven more cards. One, two, three. Well, maybe I could. Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I have eight cards. And let's see if we can mount anything here. Jeez. Challenging, yeah. Challenging, but very fun. Build up to one colony in each of the five regions. Uh, yeah, that would help if I can do that. Build or reduce a total of three colonies. Okay, I can do that. Remove exactly one colony from each of the following regions. All right, I'm going to do that first. So I'm going to remove, I'm going to remove exactly one colony from each of the five regions. Let me play that. One, two, three, four, five. Take that, punk. All right. For each of your colonies that you struggle, for each of your colonies you sh that you struggle, you may struggle one colony belonging to another. No, I don't want to struggle anybody. Um, change all of your struggling colonies to successful. Oh, that might help. Perform up to four builds in an adjacent colony. That's not going to help me. Okay, so. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to reduce three different colonies. Oh, a total of three different colonies. I'm going to build three colonies. That's what I'm going to do. One, two, and three. All right, then what I'm going to do, boy, the, boy, oh boy. All right, I'm going to play this card. I'm going to take this card to build a colony. I'm going to take this card and build a colony and I'm going to leave it at that so one two three four five six so I get six points woohoo one uh, two two three four five six Oh, I got 15 points. I don't know. I think I can get him still. I think I can get him. All right, let's see what he has for this. Remove up to three colonies and then build up to three colonies. Minimum of two. Hmm. All right, so he's going to remove three of my colonies. I'm saying he's going to remove that. And that, well, no. Not that. I say he would move that for a monopoly, that for a monopoly, and that for a monopoly. Awesome. And he's going to build one, two, and three. Okay, so that card's negotiated. Let's turn over this one. If all areas have a colony, remove up to six colonies and replace them with your own. Minimum four. Oh no, do all our areas have a colony? No. Phew. <laughs> wow, that would have been bad. Okay, so he's just going to play this card for royal support, which means one, two. He's going to get six cards next turn. So, 
let's count up this ridiculous score. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. He's got eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen for monopolizing the gold. 2021 for monopolizing all the spice. 23 for monopolizing all that. Don't bark, girl. Wow. 25 points. All right, let's start counting. One. <laughs> Gonna run out of tokens. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I'm sorry, watch this come back. All right, so that goes away. And we start taking out his cards, which he gets six. There's two. He has a start of the turn card, which is awesome. Another start of the turn card, which can't be bad and good for me. And then, of course, I get my eight cards, but I kept four, so I'm going to take these four. All right. No reactionary cards, so it's not going to matter. All right, last turn. So let's see what happens here that I can't do anything. Other players cannot adjust your royal support. Okay, that's good. That's not the end of the world. And then... For every colony of yours that is reduced or removed, gain one point. Wow. Wow. Well, here we go. Let's see what I can do. I'm going to play Disease. I'm going to struggle up to six adjacent colonies. So that struggled. That struggled. That's pretty much all I can do with that. Oh, no barking. All right, and then I'm going to play Overconfident. Choose one player to lose points equal to the number of colonies they have on the map. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So they are going to lose eleven. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, there's some retribution. Uh, in a region where you have a successful colony, remove one or two colonies that are not yours and build colonies to replace them. Well, I have a successful. Oh boy. Oh, but I would not get the points for that. All right, I'll take this. I'll remove this. And I will replace that. There you go. So we're going to get rid of that. I am going to... Let's see, what else do we have here? Closure. No, that's not going to help me. Perform up to four builds in adjacent, col in adjacent colony areas. So I'm going to take that and just build that there. That's the best I can do right now. All right. So. I can't do anything there. Man, I'm going to get killed here. So I get two points for their struggling colonies. That's two. Three, four, five, six, seven. I have a monopoly. Instead of two points, I can play these two cards, which would give me four points each. So let me figure that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it would be uh, four, uh, seven, that's 11. That's 15 points. Woohoo! So I have 15 points. So right back here. So that's what would happen is I would be there. Well, that sure isn't going to help me. All right. And here we go. Let's see the 
Other players cannot adjust your royal support. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that was a star card. Okay, it didn't matter. Um, remove up to three colonies and then build up to three colonies. So they're going to remove these. I'm just curious to see what they score now. One, two, and three. Man, I'm getting mushed. Killer Rabbit, what's up, my brother? Hey, Rob and others. Is 5-11 awake to play with you? <laughs> uh, no, he is... Uh, Mr. Uh, TV is actually sleeping, or else I would play this with him. Um, he went 24 hours. Got to give him that. Got to give him credit. He did a good job. But uh, he did pretty good. That's all that matters. Struggle up to six colonies. Oh, man. Struggle. Struggle. So I'm getting killed there. And then finally, and if all areas have a colony, remove up to six colonies and replace them with a Colony. Remove up to six colonies and replace. No, no. Do all areas have? Yes, they do. So you can. Re wow, ridiculous, ridiculous. So you would get minus two, by the way, for those at the start of his turn. Not that it would matter, but then he has the entire monopoly of the board, which is ridiculous, almost. But he cannot count those two struggling because he did not unstruggle those. So let's count it up anyways. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 uh, wood, he would get 2. So that's 15. Gold, he would not get. Spice, he would not get. Fruit, he would get. So that's 17. Jewelry, 19. Um, and then areas, that's 21, 23, 25, 27, sheesh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, <laughs> 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. All right. Game over. Wow. Um, I wonder who won. It was the Dutch, of course. Dutch Yoda. Did you think anybody else was going to win? So I had 30 points for my first first uh, game against computer. They had 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 88 points. To my 30. Wow. I got mushed. And mushed isn't the word for it. Holy cow. That was impressive. If I do say so myself. Killer Rabbit. How come you... Jeez, you sponsor the, the PGTV. I don't know why you're not sponsored here now, bro. Jeez. I right, we're just glad to have you watching. I'm just giving you a hard time. That PG TV. That's funny when it, when somebody sponsors or super chats his channel, he starts screaming like an idiot. Quiet, Bella. I, I didn't tell you to uh, to pretend you're Justin. But oh my God, the house almost reverberates. But remember, we got Rob at the helm. LOL. Uh, yeah, and the Dutch, the Dutch smashed me. Wow, that was impressive. So you see how this is. This is a strategic game. It goes quickly. The car, it, it's kind of, a, it has a little bit of that take that feature where you are constantly, as the years go by, developing different colonies, struggling different colonies. Very well put together. Plays very smoothly, surprisingly. I really, really enjoy this game i hope you guys enjoyed this as well 
how long did we go on oh for an hour perfect that's exactly what we wanted to do all right let me just talk and promote a few things while i'm here number one dan version go to miniature market go get this game this is a great game you you know if you want to play an introductory type of board game with maybe a 13 14 year old perfect for him perfect for him to learn how to take over certain things and you know just i wouldn't even call this a a, a war game but i think this is a nice simple easy but with enough strategy ga game to really enjoy yourself the ai decks are brutal as you just saw i just got mushed and that's only the first one there are five others you can get england you can get france you can get spain and of course a portugal and of course the netherlands who just crushed us each one of them have a different flavor to them so you're not facing the same thing so it you know, now I have a personal vendetta against the Netherlands, and now I'm going to have to play this again and try to keep finding a, a good rhythm to try to get and win the game. I don't think it's going to be that easy, and I think I'm going to have to play this quite a bit or play as another nation even, which isn't a bad idea. So very, very nice game. Plays very, very well. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We have a ton of painting this week. We're doing Gloomhaven because we're playing Gloomhaven over the weekend. We are going to finish up, yes, our friend here, the Screaming Antelope. So we can get him ready for our next, our settlement phase, and then as we progress onward. And of course, of course, what else can I say over the fact that we will keep on going with Rising Sun so we can get that back to Jonathan Clee. And which we're gonna we're gonna move along because people are starting to work on it and and once everybody else starts doing it, I don't flood the the, the channel the the station. I try to always do different things. Oh, Leland, nice of you to show up. Uh, very nice. Uh, but we are. Has he been here for a while? Hold on, I'm gonna check. Oh, he's here. I didn't even see him. Oh, he came in a little later. So I did not see him. Hello, how are you? Um, what else was I going to talk about? Oh, and we're going to be painting battle stations like I promised. We did do a bunch of painting videos this week. So we really came strong as far as making sure that we got a lot of things done. So, look at this. We have a new sponsor, Killer Rabbit. Killer Rabbit, I was only kidding. You didn't have to go out of the way and do that. But it's good to have you, and it's good to have another sponsor. Look, and Dennis comes out and says, yes, it's good to have sponsors. How many does Justin have, Killer Rabbit, by the way? He has like a ridiculous number. Rob, any plans on painting Greed Horde? Uh, the minute it goes retail and I get my hands on it, I will paint it. I can promise you that. Um, it is definitely in our future. I don't know uh, when it will go when it will go um, live or, or retail when it goes retail. Trust trust me, I will be on it and I will show you guys how to paint paint it and we will do our best. Killer Rabbit, thank you so much, my brother. Thanks for being a part of this channel as well as uh, PG TV. Uh, you know he really appreciates it and he talks very much about you. And uh, he's told me a, a lot of things and just, uh, you know, that you're just an all-around great person. So we're glad to have you here. I think Justin has 58, something like that. Wow, that kid is just all, oh, man. What can I say? But uh, I like this. This is, has a nice feel. We're uh, Hopefully, uh, I think he has Tuesdays off. So I think we may try to play something together. Maybe it would be kind of fun to see how he does against me in this. And we just play with, oh, excuse me, with the normal deck. That'll be kind of fun. It is about 60 on YouTube and some lurker at Twitch still. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, boy. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of tough when you do video games. Rob, did that ship? Um, the, um, 
As far as sh uh, Green Horde, I don't know. Um, it shipped out to uh, Kickstarter uh, people, but it has not shipped out to retail. And when I get mine, it'll be retail. Uh, again, Killer Rab Rabbit, thank you for joining a very small and elite group of sponsors. We're glad to have you. Thank you, brother. Uh, now you're, you sponsor the entire house. Uh, we're going to have to do something. So there we go. I think we covered it. We had some fun today. Um, it was nice to get on here. I did seven videos today that I, I put up two today. And then you've got enough videos to last you the rest of the week. Plus I did a live playthrough. Not bad for one day, huh? Not bad at all. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoy it. Um, and if you have any questions, leave something in the comments. I'll be happy to answer. If I did something wrong, leave it in the comments. Like I said, I make mistakes so you don't have to. <sighs> Until next time, it's your old pal, Rob. Look for Tuesday. I think we're going to try to get Justin to play something really cool and different. And uh, we'll do it live in the evening because um, he doesn't stream on Tuesdays. So I will, like I, I'll hold him to his contract that he's got to play uh, something with me. Right now he's a nighty nightville. So everybody, thanks a lot again, and I will talk to you soon.